broccoli, y'all. This is a very, very simple little vegetable. And I see a lot of people cut the bottom of the broccoli off or either just buy the florets. But you can take the bottom of these and chop them up and cook them like they're onions when you're cooking other food just to get some more nutrients into your body. So use these like they're onions and just cut them up and toss them when you're sauteing onions and bell peppers and garlic and stuff like that. And just throw a couple of gar gar uh, uh, broccoli pieces in there and you'll have some good eats. But today I'm going to show you how to fix this broccoli in a way that's very flavorful and that I believe your children will eat too. I want to point out how I uh, washed these, the broccoli in vinegar. I dip, dip it in a bowl in vinegar for a few minutes and then I take it out and just uh, spin it in the salad spinner and then just let it drain out on the countertop most of the day and then I wrap it in paper towel. This was the paper towel that was wrapped in and it's relatively dry. It's, it's a little damp but it's relatively dry but all that moisture is out of it and this broccoli will last for weeks in the refrigerator like that wrapped up in a Ziploc bag. So that's how I keep my broccoli or all my vegetables and fruits uh, fresh. But basically I've cut off the bottom of it and I want to encourage y'all to save this piece. Don't throw this piece away. Save this piece and then just dice it up like it's an onion and just throw it into your tacos or whatever else you're making that you use onions and garlic and bell peppers and carrots for. Cut you a couple of pieces of this in there and it'll be really, really good for you. So since this is just broccoli for one, I just took off what I would eat and put it on a sheet pan sprinkle some olive oil on it and some salt and pepper that is it y'all i'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven for about 10 15 minutes and taste it and i'm telling you this is so so delicious now what you can do after it's done you can add uh, nuts to it if you want to or you can make you a, a balsamic vinaigrette or whatever you want to do but i just like it like this and that way that you get the real flavor of, of broccoli. What I want to kind of encourage you to do is to cook and eat the vegetables and let the vegetables stand on their own without, you know, drowning them in fat and grease and oil and syrup and sugar and gravy and stuff like that. Now, there will be plenty of times when we need to do that, baby. <laughs> there will be times when we need to just go ahead on and just go all in, but I'm trying to live, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to get a little bit healthier, okay? So I'm just going to roast this broccoli, and I'm going to show you what it looks like once it comes out. And here's another tip. Anytime you're roasting something, and even if it's you're baking cookies or whatever, and you've got different sizes of that thing, you always put the smaller ones in the middle of the pan, push the larger, larger ones on the outside of the pan, because these are going to cook um, these are going to take longer to cook and these will cook faster. So you don't want those to burn up. So you kind of want them like covered in a blanket of the armor of the rest of the bigger ones surrounded it. Okay. Even if you got a, 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 a big cookie and then you got a couple of small cookies, put those small cookies in the middle and that'll protect it because the heat's going to come from the oven up here and up there and go like that. Got it? I hope that makes sense. Small ones in the middle. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, let's get these in the oven. <laughs> now, if y'all don't see this as good eating, I don't know what to tell you because this is as, as simple as simple can get. But I want you to look at this. Look at this. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The flavor. Y'all. Oh, my goodness gracious. Y'all, it's so delicious. And the only thing that's on here is olive oil. Oh, my God. Salt and pepper. It's so good. It's a great snack for just you or your whole family. It's a way to encourage your kids to eat. And you could have drowned this in a whole bunch of stuff. You could have steamed it. You could have done a lot of things. But roasted broccoli is so delicious. And the, 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 the faster we learn that if we learn to eat vegetables without doing too much to them, you'll enjoy vegetables and you'll want to eat more vegetables. I guess that's what I'm trying to say because you will discover that vegetables are delicious because they are. All right. That's the quick tip that I got for y'all today. This is a healthy snack for one. I'm Val Taylor. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye now.